Hello everyone, in this short video I show you a simple example of the Benford's law in Excel. The Benford's law is also called the first digit law and it's about the frequency distribution of the leading digit in real life data sets. So first of all we're just going to look at the formula. So the probability of the first digit D is the logarithm base 10 of 1 plus 1 divided by the digit itself. So for example, for the digit 1, we expect a probability of 30.103% and here you see I just typed in the formula log base 10 of 1 plus 1 divided by 1. And I just did that for every number. Okay, great. Then let's look at two simple examples in real life data. So here in this example, I show you the population of US counties. So as you can see, we have all the counties within the states with their population. And you see we have like for whole US data on it. And when we then want to look at the Benford's law, we just need the leading digit of every population number. And therefore, we just um, use the formula left to always get only the first digit of the number. We just did that here in D. And now let's look at the Benford's law. For the leading digit, we have 1 to 9 as before and the Benford's law here is exactly the same formula as discussed before. And now actually when we look at the, the counts of the leading digits we, we have here just the count if we have the leading digit within column D. So we have 953 leading digits of 1. And we have 594 digits with a leading digit number 2. And so on. And you can see it also decreases. And now the interesting part is when we look at the proportion of the counts. So we just divide the count by the total sum of the leading digits. Then we get actually kind of really really similar numbers to the Benford's law. Here you can see it in percentage numbers and yeah you can see it's like super close to Benford's law. And another example when we look at the US employment statistics with um, occupation names and with the number of employees within this occupation with the same methodology, we just take the leading digit and then we count the leading digit and we take the proportion of it here. You see actually we have similar proportion to Benford's law. Yeah, that's it here. I just wanted to show you a simple example of Benford's law in Excel. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.